looking from above. I type on no day for marketing. I try you more, Yaku. When you batra codis and silver, you know more, those Yaku. When you batra codis, Yaku. Always loving everybody, no discrimination. What I did, man, what I did, man, no competition.
Yesu na ye e pa ina yo Na inga moko te Moto na me mi e pa ina yo Mote me lingi ye Na ye bi azana ba febles Ki me fe mal au coeur C'est parfois insupportable Ki fe mal a la tête A Christ même le Saint Esprit Me na kouti e pa ina ye Quelque chose de bien qui m'attire tellement. Na sengyo sala yengo lu, bisi kabanda ki kokuya, eko ma point fort na ye, mote melingi ye. Ye o yo, o lingonda nga ye o yo, na lota kiango na ndoto, lo sambo e futi penga yo. Ye o yo. Ko bombe sili ye oyo Hata bambonge ye oyo Elamba ya ngo ya ngo yo That he might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. That he might present it to himself, a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. But that it should be holy and without blame. So ought men to love their wives, even as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever hated his own flesh, but nourisheth it and cherisheth it. 
maana hakuna mtu anayechukia mwili wake popote bali kuulisha na kutunza kama Kristo naye alio even as the lord does the church kama Kristo naye anavyojitendea kanisa For we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones kwa kuwa tu viunga For this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall be joined unto his wife. And they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. Wala mke asikose mstahi mstahi mayo. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here in the sight of God in the face of this company. Wapenzi tunakutana tunakutanika hapa katika kikundi cha watu to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Kuangana kuanganisha mtu huyu na mke huyu katika ndoa takatifu which is commanded of St Paul to be honorable among all men ambayo imemtakatifu Paulo anasema iwe takatifu and therefore is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly na kwa hivyo msiingilie jambo hili bila ku kusaidiwa ama Yeah, bila kusaidiwa. But reverently, discreetly, advisedly and in the fear of God. Na muingilie jambo hili kwa hekima na kito kito kicho cha Mungu na kwa ustahili. Into this holy estate these two persons come now to be joined. Katika hali hii takatifu watu hao wawili wanakuja mbele majukwa kwa If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Kama tuna yoyote hapa amba hapa na sababu yoyote ya kwamba hawa wili wasi wasi shikanisho aje aseme sasa la sivyo anyamaze kimi mire. I require and charge you both that as you will answer in the day of judgment. Mimi na 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 watakieni hawili jinsi mtakavyo jibu siku ya hukumu when the secrets of all hearts shall be made disclosed. Wakati siri zote za mioyo zita zafunuliwa. That if either of you know of any impediment why you may not lawfully be joined together in that moment. Kama yoyote kwa nyinyi wawili anajua kitu chochote ambacho kinaweza fanya msiunganishwe katika ndoa takatifu na aseme sasa For be well assured that if any person are joined together otherwise than what God's word doth allow their marriage is not lawful Mujue ya kwamba yoyote ambaye atashikanishwa katika ndoa kuliko jinsi neno la Mungu linayohitajika ama linaruhusu hiyo ndoa sio halali Who gave this woman to be married to this man Ni nani atampa tena huyu mke aolewe na mwanamume huyu Ni mimi babake na babake mstari atapea mstari in english oh. Oh, the 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 husband, the father of the girl, with the hand of the 
The late Reverend Peter Marshall, when speaking of this oneness of marriage, said it is like the fusion of two hearts. Like the coming together of two tributaries, which after having been joined in marriage, will flow in the same channel. They will flow in the same direction, carrying the same burden, responsibility, and obligation. What I thought, but because of that marriage, that coming together as one, the 
There is a new added strength formed by that which each brings into the marriage. And just as those two tributaries once joined together can no longer humanly be separable. So is the marriage covenant once entered into divine and indivisible. This indivisible oneness spoken of in marriage is meant to be a model of our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Or in the scriptures we read the book of Ephesians, it says, It's a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and his church. Marriage is intended to be the closest thing on earth that we know to the love of God, or the love that God has for us. In other words, our marriage relationship is to reflect the love between Christ and the church. The same love spoken of in the book of Ephesians where it said, Husbands, love your wives. Even as Christ so loved the church and gave himself for to model this love is a great responsibility, but it is also a tremendous blessing. When by the grace of the Lord is done successfully. I read a sermon one time by a man named Rodney Buchanan. I saw some good thoughts on this thought of marriage and I'd like to share some of those thoughts with you today. We find that marriage is a place where with the help of our mate we learn to love and also to be loved. These experiences aren't always easy. And we're not always quick learners. But little by little, if we persist, we will learn how to model true godly love to our marriages. One wonderful thing about marriage is it is a relationship where we are known at the deepest level. And yet we are loved the most. It's a place where we live so close that all our faults fail.
failures and imperfections are clearly made known. Ni pahali ambapo makosa yetu yote tunaleta pamoja kwa kila mmoja na ya mmoja kwa mwingine anajua makosa yetu na kujua kwetu. But yet to our surprise we are still loved. Lakini hayo hayaleta matakanisho hayo yote yanaleta upendo zaidi. That's the same love that Christ has for us for the scriptures say while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't wait till we deserved it or earned it. He just loved us unconditionally. That's the kind of love that we are to model in our marriage. But when you live that kind of unconditional love, you often leave yourself open to painful hurts. But that's the kind of love that Christ had for us and that our marriages are supposed to model. Marriage is actually a ministry. We are to model that kind of love that Christ has towards each other. The result is that we experience the same love Christ has for His church. And our marriages become more than just a personal relationship with one another. But our marriage has become a living statement of the love of Christ to the world who desperately needs to see it. You may recall in the Bible of the prophet Hosea. God told him to marry and to give his love to a prostitute. She repeatedly hurt him, but yet each time he was told by God to bring her back home and to love her. In this, God was showing us how even when we may be unfaithful or hurt Him, His love for us is extended unconditionally.
Nde moto a gagné ma joyo Lo sambo e futi penga yo Oh 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 Na lingi bino Ye pena lingi ye minye Aza motu ya konanga ye Osunga poto ume la ye Oh 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 ye oh yo Konanga ye oh yo Na lo takiambo na ndoto ye Oh, 
May your love grow. And may you be a blessing wherever you are. To all those about you, and may God bless you and keep you. I laundry. I laundry. 
You take the UG. Take the UG. To be my lawful one of To be my lawful one of mine. To have them to hold. To have them to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. From better for worse. From better for worse. From richer for poor. From richer for poor. In sickness and in health. From sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. And therefore I pledge thee my faithfulness. And therefore. And therefore. I pledge you my faithfulness. I pledge you my faithfulness. Eugene, repeat after me. I, Eugene. You take the laundry. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love, cherish, and obey till death do us part, according to God's holy word, and therefore I pledge thee my faithfulness. I require a token of the vows made between you both. Heavenly Father, we come to thee just as we are, with all our faults and our mistakes, knowing that you love us more than we can ever understand. And when we come to you just as we are, you miraculously make us new in Christ. Bless Laundry and bless Eugene. Mariki Laundry, Pia Jenny. And as they take these spouses, Father. Now, on Apo and Rea Kuchukua, uh, 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 Father, may the Holy Spirit give them great wisdom. Rom Takatifu, the Akawape, Heki Maku. That they might stand for what is right no matter what others do. Here was Mamia, Kirichok Zuri. Bless the one who will wear this ring. Help her to be cheerful. And grant, O oh Lord, that it may always be a symbol of love and affection that endures. May she make a cheerful home. And grant, Lord, that others may know that the Lord Jesus is truly the head of us. Make her, bless her, and make her a blessing, we pray in Jesus' name. And then you take her away. Repeat after me. As a pledge and a token of the vows between us made. And with all my worldly goods, I be endowed. No, no. 
utajiri wangu in the name of the Lord Jesus Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Amen the head of the house make him a man in every way may he stand for right no matter what others may be I the Lord that early in life you will teach him to lay aside the cares of the world and bring into his home only peace and happiness. Help him, Lord, that day by day he may grow in your grace. And grant that your spirit may guide him in all that he does. Help him that he may always place his trust into you. And as he wears this ring, may it ever be a token of love and affection that shall endure. We ask that you bless him, make him a blessing. May he glorify you in all that he does. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Repeat after me. As a pledge and as a token of the vows between us made, no. with this ring I be wed. And with all my worldly goods I be endowed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Let us pray. May the live Lord Jesus Christ bless you. May the May he grant you the riches of his grace. Let your life live together in faith. For both him and for each other. You might be found pleasing in his sight. And that you may enjoy together the blessings of eternal life. Na pamoja mkafraile mpendo mzuri wa maisha ya mirema. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Katika ya Yesu Christ wana wetu.
Usiwena upendelea upendelea mmoja ama mwingine. But we will help them to look to the Lord Jesus Christ. Lakini tutawasaidia hao wawili kumwangalia Yesu Kristo. For the solution to every problem. Kwa tatizo lolote kwa suluhisho lolote na tatizo tatizo lolote katika ndoa yao. We all know that our homes could be happier places. Tunajua ya kwamba nyumbani kwetu if we would just seek to be less selfish. I'm trying to spoil many times which could be happy or selfish fights or moments. May God bless us. Grant that each one of us mm -hmm. will rededicate ourselves to Him. And we'll ask Him for strength. So that whatever comes, we will strive to look at it honestly, fearless, fairly, and unselfish. Tutakiangalia katika upendo mwenyekevu na bila kupenda mapendeleo ya Mungu. So the power of God and us. Ili mapenzi ama nguvu za Mungu zifanye kazi ndani yetu. May God bless you and keep you and make you a blessing because you've been here today. Mungu awabariki na kuwaweka na kupatia haraka zake kwa kuwa hapa siku ya leo. Andre. Andre. You have asked for and received the greatest gift a woman could give. Umeuliza na kupewa na kupewa zawadi kubwa ambacho mwanamke angepewa. A woman's love, a woman's heart, a woman's life. Mapenzi ya mwanamke, roho ya mwanamke na maisha ya mwanamke. It's been said the greatest gift that God could give a man outside of salvation is a good one. You and Eugene will have many joys and pleasures together. There will come a time when you don't want to really understand. May God give you courage and strength that you may never hurt or even hurt me. But you must strive to be unselfish and understand her. Na utakuwa mtu asiyokuwa wa kipweke na kumuelewa. So the ten years from now you can honestly say I love her more today than the day we were married. Hili nyaka kumi kutoka leo ukiisha useme na mpenda leo kuliko jinti ni mko mpenda hapa mero. Eugene. Eugene. Londra has given you himself and his life. Londra amekupa yele mwenyewe na maisha yake. If you will allow him, he'll confide in you his secrets and his ambitions. The world may forget him, forsake him, turn their back on him, but you will never. He will learn that he can succeed because you are there by his side. You and Landry will have many joys and much pleasure together. But there will come time when you too will wonder if you really understand him. Lakini itakuwa wakati utatokea wakati utajiuliza nyinyi wawili kama mnaelewa mnaelewa mmoja kwa mmoja mnajielewa mmoja kwa mwingine. May God give you courage and strength that you will never hurt him for you. 
Lakini Mungu akupele hema na mapenzi ili usije ukamuudhi eh, kwa chochote kile. But you will be unselfish and strive to understand him so that for years from now you too may honestly be able to say I love him more now. Ya kwamba utakuwa mtu asiye wa kipeke na unjaribu kumuelewa miaka 10 kutoka leo angalia nyuma na kusema ndampenda leo kuliko vile nilivyompenda hapo mbele You promise to love, honor, and cherish in sickness and in health. In prosperity and adversity. You promised each other that you, before God you'll forsake all others and remain faithful one to another till death parts you. Upon these promises as a minister of the gospel. Now And by the authority of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I now pronounce you husband and wife.
Montrez-nous un petit moment, je sais que vous êtes fatigué. Avant que je puisse donner la parole à la famille,
Il peut Je suis debout ici. 
elles sont devenues une. Et quand la première année, les élèves avaient vu la première Bindura. Bindura. Ils doivent s'embrasser parce que c'est une famille qui est une. Vous voyez, vous voyez qu'elle est comme nous, qui a au moins un bail et un bail. Ils vont s'embrasser comme un signe significatif que les familles deviennent. Les familles fouillent parmi les Bindura. La famille fouille les Bandoresi. Vous voyez qu'elle est comme nous, qui a au moins un bail.
Marcel Hübner Dürr. Was soll man? Und warum will man das? Dada, Atenda, Fumula, Io, Zupa. Und da muss ich gehen. Ich liebe Zupa, ich liebe Zupa, ich liebe Zupa, ich liebe Zupa.
Vous allez euh, vous servir de ce côté-ci.
chanson
Tone Mugaja
I'm about to get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah.
choke and I choke. Ah, Abana, she didn't talk about to me. Abana. Je ne vais pas autre chose. 